What's up Starcraft fans? You are watching a co-op mission. I am CDG and I'm playing as Nova. My masteries are Griffin Airstrike Cost, Combat Unit Attack Speed, and Unit Life Regeneration. Looks like we'll be playing Lock and Load while waiting for the loading screen. A huge thank you to Zachary who has supported me in the mobilization rate here. Thank you to Neo Metal who is supporting me with Pulse Cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. This is how to play Nova. I'll use siege tanks primarily for my damage output meaning I'll use their deploy spider mine ability to take out most of the, uh, as many en enemies as I can and then I'll get, also get ravens but first before anything else I'll get a command center first well not really double refinery and then command center first after that I'll get marines to break down my rocks so I can take my expansion and then I'll get straight to Siege Tanks and use Nova to clear out as much as possible. And then I'll also get Liberators depending on what the enemy is. Maybe I'll get more tanks, maybe I'll get Ghosts depending on what the enemy is. If it's... If it's uh... Squishy units, if it's Mutalisks, I'll get Ghosts. But if it's uh... Protoss or Sky Terran, I'll get Goliaths. It all depends on what the enemy presents me. Right. Just waiting for the loading screen. There it is. Start the game. Good luck of Hunter Ally. Get an SSD, guys. It's really good. Enemies Zerg. How do I know? When I click this, it shows creep on the minimap. You arrived just in time, commanders. Amon is attempting to destroy all. All right. As soon as I have Hunter minerals, I'm gonna start my refinery. We must activate all five locks. Then I got a second SCV. Units from both of your armies must be present to complete your objective. Don't get Not another refinery. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. There we go. Now resume SCV production. Only up to 16. I'll stop at 16 so I can take my expansion nice and early. As soon as I have 200. 75 minerals, I'll send an SCV over. Normally I'd send it at 250, but the expansion is closer for this map, so I can actually afford to send slightly earlier, such as right now. Start that commander first so I can get my economy nice and early, and I will not resume SCV production until I start my barracks. This barracks is so I can get my marines to break down these rocks and take allow me to take the expansion. Okay. So yeah, I'm not getting I'm still not getting SCVs because when I what, what I want to happen is when this barracks completes, I'll drop down marines at this uh, location and then I'll start shooting at the rocks and then I'll resume SCV production. So uh, let's do that. Yeah, you have a bit of downtime here, that is true. A bit of downtime. While that's happening, you can put your Ghost Academy in a separate control group and your production in another, in another control group. This is so you can uh, get your upgrades all in one place. All right, it's gonna line up. Start the SCV or start the Marines, and then resume SCV production. All right, do that. Now I'll get my engineering bay. Then get the tech lab on here. There we go. As soon as that's done, I'll resume or I'll start my factory or maybe upgrades first. Yeah, let's get Nova upgrades so Nova can fight for longer. Ready for combat. Put Nova in a separate control group so she can fight more effectively. Status Setting up a sabotage drone. Let's set, set up Nova here and take out all these Zerglings with a single hit. There we go. The celestial lock is being claimed by Amon. If left uncontested, it oh, nice. All right, it's good. Let's roll. What's going on? Nova here. Let's take this. Loud. SCV 
Now I can start my upgrades. No, not that. Just uh, the marine upgrades, yeah? Then get level 1. Then get the detection upgrade for Nova. It's actually important when you're playing against Zerg to get detection. Because they have tons of cloaked army, cloaked units, such as swarm hosts and lurkers. And it's really good when you when you can see them coming. We have laid claim to one of the celestial locks. We must just use Nova aggressively. Well. See if I can snipe some stuff. This Mutalisk is good. It's good to snipe other Mutalisk. Still on cooldown, so let's keep using Open our snipes. Alright. Get more. Hey, just use Nova aggressively. Just clean out these dudes. Nova here. Mm, get a tech lab. Start a starport. Start an armory. Kill this overseer. Doesn't bother us. Kill this. Kill this. I'm just cleaning up. Oh. Oh, they have a oh, they have a spore there. Nice. Well, nice for them, since they can see me. But it doesn't matter. I'll just destroy them. I destroy these. Get the siege mode or the uh, spider mice rather for my siege tanks. Be present to claim the objective. All right, let's clean this up. All right. Confirm You know what? I don't want to waste my army, our army, army's time, going around and waiting for an ally. I'll. Uh, I'll. I'll send the CV. To clean that up, or to claim that lock, yeah. Ooh. Let's clean this up. There we go. So since the enemy's Zerg air, I'll get ghosts and get triple tap. There it is. I'll also get some ravens. These ravens are good. Send. Uh, Got it. The sabotage drone here. Take out the bulk of the army. We cannot claim the objective without. Yeah, let our ally know that uh, we can claim this lock. I'm reading you. Right, he's claiming. He's he's going. I'll make it happen. Eventually. Let me see if I can snipe this viper. Yes. Okay. Ooh, shield overcharge. I want that. Let's push in. Shield overcharge is really good. Let me. Uh, we get over here and snipe this and this. All right, good. Shield overcharge, really good. All right. Keep the siege tanks here. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's uh, drop some stuff there. Yeah, Ali's uh, Ali's are making his way over here. Let's get ghosts. Operation successful. Executing. Let's give ourselves vision using using a sabotage drone, and then drop the nuke right here. Ooh, nice. All right. Ooh, spider mines, spider mines. Oh, that's fine. I can revive Nova pretty easily, in fact. Let's get ghosts. More ghosts. More ghosts. More good. Let me see if I can clean this up. Oh, my ally's here. All right, I'll trust my ally. I mean, I can go go there if I wanted to, but. I feel like it's not needed. That's a drone. So it is. Alright. 
So what is uh what is uh, that guy doing there? Nova here. Status report. Confirm that last. Or send the send, send, send the dude there. Single dude. See if I can uh Okay. Looks like there's nothing here. <laughs> I can do that if I wanted to. It's a power of Nova. Confirm that last. Let's get Raven for healing. More siege tanks. Mm. Yeah, pretty. I'm actually fine right now. Destroy that. Destroy storm host. All right. Nice. Ghosts are good for sniping these vipers. All right. Let's get more ghosts. They're actually good versus Zerg. I think they snipe the enemy. Alright, drop that thing there. Confirm that last. Snipe enemy some sight. snipe some enemies. Alright. Push in. Seems like we could use a defensive drone. Might actually get a liberator this time. Liberation is Let's get these upgrades. Push in here. Spider mines, destroy that. Ooh, Alec could use. No, he's not. He doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, here's where. Here's where I can help my ally. Drop some. Uh, drop some bombs there. There we go. Clean. Clean up. has lost his defiled construct. Exemplary work, commanders. We have dealt a powerful blow to our enemy. Use a sabotage drone. Then use an airstrike. Just push in here with our units. Nova's units are really strong if you know how to micro them. Initiating assault. Go back. Passive drone. Clean up these uh, these defenses. So we can push up here. Yeah. Now, now we can siege up. Now we can siege up because we want to hold this position. There we go. Then, uh, ooh, let's try that swarm host. All right. Nah, I don't need it. Don't need it. Oh, I can destroy that. I can destroy these. I can destroy these out. Destroy these dudes. That's actually GG. Yeah, I just need just need them to claim it. That's game. We have activated another lock. There it is. Area secure. Area secure. There it is. Locks have been activated. Amon will be unable to bypass them again. Well done, commanders. All right, the game was short enough. This does warrant going back. But I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else you do, please leave that in a comment. See the score screen. I'm gonna go back to the to the replay now to describe what I've been doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I had about what was that? Nine times, nine times my allies kills. Whew. Man, Nova is really good. Let's go to the replay and discuss exactly what happened there. It was a, it was kind of a short game, but that, that, that's kind of what lock and load entails. And yeah, I had about 10 times this level, so <laughs> it's fair, it's fair. So again, bring out the production tab so you can see what I've been building. Let's speed it up a little bit. You just in time. So my build was refinery at 14, time. refinery at 15, and then uh, pause per production at 16, and send the SCV here to start the command center. While that's happening, I start the barracks, still 16, as soon as I have enough minerals to start the barracks. And this time, uh, after that, it's a downtime. Just wait for your structures to finish, specifically your barracks, 
Once your bags finishes, you should have just enough minerals. It should line up perfectly. You can drop your marines here, and they can start shooting away at these. If you want, if you need more gas, you can take out these rocks. But I, I, I wanted minerals, so I took out these rocks. All right. So now I could resume SCV production and then start my engineering bay. The engineering bay is mostly for the super stim pack. The super stim pack on the Barracks Tech Lab upgrade is only available once you have the engineering bay. So I actually like getting the engineering bay first since it, uh, it builds slightly slower than the Tech Lab. And those, should, those two should line up. I'm gonna lift my command center, just move it here. Alright. And I start the Nova upgrade. There it is. Yeah, I take that out. So I use. I, to move Nova around, I use the blink upgrade. Uh, I use the blink ability to get her. To, and just ra use rapid fire on blink to get her quickly here. And once she's there, all I need to do is line them up. Make sure that they're all in range of the uh, penetrating blast so I don't need to use it again. And that's, that destroys, oh look at those fireworks man, that destroys all of them. And I, knew, I, I use Hanova in her own control group, so I can do this, while my marines are still blasting away at these rocks. Yeah. Let's so return to Nova, clean these up. And then, I don't spam my abilities right away, I kind of bait the enemy out, so I know what I'm fighting. Just, oh, I was trying to hit those those aberrations. He did hit some. That's nice. So yeah, I've I've started the SCV production and also started the tech lab or the refineries rather on my on my expansion. So what I did is these marines are uh, are not strong enough to take on this whole outpost, so I sent them to claim the lock while Nova herself takes on the base. So what you want to do if you're in the in, in stealth mode. You want to use this sabotage rune as much as you can. While well, that's happening, by the way, let's see what's under. Yeah, I started my factory. I need I need the factory here to get the siege tanks. Siege ta the siege tanks are really good versus ground units, not because they can siege up, but because they can deploy spider mines. If you have siege tanks as Nova, it's better to keep them in tank mode than in siege mode, because in tank mode, you can move around and deploy the spider mines where you need them. If they're in siege mode, they cannot move, so they can only deploy the spider mines as far as their range stationary. They, whereas, again, if you're in tank mode, you can they can move around and deploy where exactly where you need the spider mines to be. I'm also starting the ground upgrade. Uh, uh, there, there, the super stim pack. And yeah, I put down. I know, I know. There's there's a sore most in the lurker here. I wonder if I can, uh, if I can. Have the en enemy view. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working. Anyway, I know there's a, a lurker and a Sormos here, so if you're Nova, you're playing against Zerg. Yeah, just use your sabotage drone here. It looks like a gap, but there's definitely any there are definitely enemies here. See? That was uh, a swarm host and this was a lurker, I think. Destroyed all of them. So now it's a cooldown. About 30 seconds. So during that meantime, I start working on I start working on uh, sniping the mutilisks because the sabotage drone doesn't affect them. Upgrade. Then I'm working on the range, the range upgrade for the marines that will make them more effective, even more effective. I use a sabotage drone to target the ground units here. Again, there's a Sormos and lurker, so it's really Upgrade. good. Complete. It's really good to see you, to use that on them because the Sormos in particular do tons of damage. And now I start my starport. Let me uh, slow this up. I start my armory so I can get these upgrades, the operational efficiency, which will uh, re refund the energy cost of sniping if you kill the enemy unit and the infernal projectiles, which will increase the range of penetrating blast. These are both Nova upgrades and they're really good. Do recommend that you get them. So yes, yeah, starting a starport, I mainly use these for ravens and liberators. If you're fighting against a heavy ground composition, liberators are really good. But ravens, in general, are really good if the enemy doesn't have scourge. 
<laughs> because ravens can heal, but if they're the only units in the air, the scourge will eat them up really, really fast. So let's uh, go back here, snipe that overseer so he doesn't see us. There we go, sniping those mulisks one by one. Those muddy boys, there we go, snipe their detection. And yeah, they do have a spine, our spore crawler here. You can see I'm still maintaining SCV production. I line up here so, it, so whenever I need to use the Petrain Blast, it'll hit two buildings at the same time. Yeah. There we go. Starport is finished. Again, uh, you can use the Marines here. They're not as useful oh, as they are in the early game the because they die very quickly. So what I did is, I will send an SCV here instead to claim the lock. Upgrade complete. Yeah, I, ch I chose to put my army. They are, they are easy to lose, yes. But if you have Nova in front and you're actively using her abilities, it's easier to keep the Marines at the back, shooting and alive. So you can see the enemy on the minimap. I get, I get some siege tanks. I do absolutely recommend the siege tanks when you're whenever you're playing as Nova. They're really good versus ground units. Right now, I can take all of these out. You can see I'm trying to line them up. I'm trying to wait, bait them, to get more of them into this position. But yeah, I just, uh, I just needed to shoot it right away. Otherwise, it'll get wrap around on me. It'll be harder to aim and stuff. You know. Yeah, clean them up in two hits. It's not awful. Now I get to uh, go back down. Okay, now I'm getting the uh, the triple tap. This is the ghost upgrade. Again, we are fighting mutalisks. You saw the mutalisks here, so that means air zerg. They'll have corruptors and brood lords. So ghosts are actually a good option versus them. You can still get goliaths, but ghosts are also really good against those because they have triple tap, which will allow them to snipe in rapid succession. If you're if you're playing again, if you're playing against sky terran or sky toss, I recommend the go I recommend the goliath. With, these up with this upgrade first, Lockdown Missiles, it will stun the mechanical air unit and allow you to take them out with, with more ease. Getting the Raven upgrades so they can be more effective. We'll siege that up there. We cannot claim the objective without our ally. Yeah, I, I tell my ally that he needs to unlock that. There we go, getting the other Nova upgrade. And getting the getting the upgrades, attack upgrades. I I often fail to explain this, but the reason I prefer attack upgrades is because co-op is a matter of uh, preserving your army, and it's better to preserve your army when you can kill the enemy faster. And again, remember what I said in the Abathur uh, in the Abathur video: the fewer attack, uh, the, the faster you finish a map, the fewer attack waves you'll face. So, if you get these attack upgrades, you're preserving your army because you get to finish the map quicker. And you need you get to encounter fewer enemy waves. Snipe that viper because it's annoying. Okay, at, th at this point, my ally activated the uh, the shield overcharge, and this will allow me to actually push in. Of course, the, you can see why I want to take out the vipers first. They are quite annoying. I yeah, take that out. And yeah, getting the other raven upgrade. I haven't actually had a, had a need for the raven just yet. I use the uh, the sabotage rune here, although it doesn't really take out anything because my holo decoy already took care of it for me. All right, down the viper goes. The SCV is still waiting over there. I drop some ghosts here, and look how fast they take out that viper. This is why I love ghosts. Alright, so now I'll use the, the the Sabotage Drone to give me vision. Alright, this is important. You see that I'm deploying my Sabotage Drone in a place where in a place where I can get damage in, where the nuke will not finish it off. This will, uh, this will allow me to get even more area to, to damage the enemy. Yeah, see? Not, not on the nuke, beside the nuke. So this one's gonna live after the nuke. And this Habasaw drone is going to finish it off. Like so. Bringing 
There's a defensive drone here. I do try to keep Nova alive, but she has she has tons of stuff that's hitting her. So she does eventually go down. However, I can just bring Nova back. Nova is the cheapest of the Nova units. She's literally easy to replace. Because you can revive her instantly. And without cooldown. Yeah, like I said, an ally can handle this. Can handle this. And he does. So I continue pushing up here. I don't want to spam the cooldown because, again, the cooldown for this tactical airlift is two minutes. It's great for mobility, but two minutes is a long time to wait. So you want to clean these up. You want to clean these up uh, and split your units if possible. Just use this sparingly. Can I still have this marine here? You can see. I was just checking if uh, there are still enemy units here. Alright. I could I could use the Griffin airstrike there if I wanted to, but it doesn't it wasn't needed. There we go. Raven now. That's gonna get, provide me with some uh, much needed healing. Well, not really needed so far, but well deserved healing. I go past the drone to keep myself alive. Keep myself alive. See Nova's just taking hit after hit of these hybrids. But somehow, somehow she keeps surviving. The Raven is providing additional detection. And you can see I'm getting more attack attack upgrades. This will allow my army to be even more effective. There we go. Destroy those. Four of the five locks are under our control. Only Alright, one only one more. Again, I use it. I try to uh, not kill the things that are already here. Seems like we could use a defensive drone. Yeah, destroy that. The ghost just uh, destroy that ultralisk. All right. We better siege up here. Can you can see that I have separate several different control, control groups in my army. One for liberators, so I can siege and unsiege them. One for siege tanks, so I can deploy spider mines with them. One for ravens, so I can deploy healing and seeker missiles. Here's where I where I need actually need to help my ally. Yeah, this will clean them up and allow my SCV free reign to sort of just stick around. And yeah, the rest. Uh, yeah, I have a separate good trigger for Nova herself, but the rest of the army can just a move. Of course, the rest of the, the army consists of ghosts and uh, ghosts and Marines, which are a move units. Alright, finish that off. I use an the airstrike. Again, you notice that uh, the actual path of the airstrike is not exactly on the path or on the damage radius of the of the sabotage drones. That's so I can spread damage around. Destroy that. Ally is getting attack upgrades, that's nice. Yeah, I just retreat slightly just to put the enemy units in my liberation zone. Now I set this up here so I can move freely with my army. Destroy that spore crawler. Oh, the swarm host. Yeah, I didn't really need to use it, but I wanted to. You see, I didn't even max out. That's how. That's how. That's how quickly Nova could clear out. I just used another airstrike <laughs> just to damage even more units. My ally was actually quite passive, and that's actually not. A <laughs> that actually didn't. Uh, that actually didn't impact our effectiveness this mission because I already cleared out everything. There it is. All five celestial All right. And that's how you play as Nova. Well done, commanders. Again, I used ghosts because we're fighting Zerg air. If we're fighting Zerg ground, I'll just get even more tanks. And possibly more liberators. If we're fighting Sky Toss or Sky Terran, I'll get liberators and goliaths. That's basically it. If we're fighting Mech Terran, more siege tanks. If we're fighting Robo, yeah, more siege tanks. 
Yeah, that, that's the gist of it. Just build units that counter what well, what the enemy what enemy you're facing. I don't often build banshees and hellbats because Nova's other units just outshine them. They're uh, they're not as effective as siege tanks. But yeah, guess that's how to play Nova. All right. Oh, uh, Nova, you want to use the the assault mode with the penetrating blast when you're facing ground zerg when you're facing a swarms of zerg and bio terran if you're fighting high health units you can just spam snipe with your surveillance mode yeah all right see you